Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Today, we are going to present the business model that Pampers use and make some recommendations for innovation. In the early 1950s, a Procter & Gamble researcher, Victor Mills, identified an opportunity out of the frustrations of using cloth nappies. After 10 years of innovative research and development, P&G introduced Pampers, the first disposable diaper. Through the next decades, their consistent focus to their brand image of safety, quality and reliability, and their continued commitment to innovative R&D, revolutionised childcare. In 2006, Pampers, in response to their social responsibility, began to reach out and support babies globally by partnering with organisations working with disadvantaged communities. By 2014, they had firmly established their commitment to making better products, but to do so responsibly. They believed that growth isn't only about financial investment, but also to decrease their environmental footprint through diaper design, sustainable forestry practices, manufacturing innovation and helping communities to thrive. With a business model based on quality and safety, their goal is to help achieve a better future that will benefit babies' development now and for generations to come. One shocking statistic for you is Ireland are now the largest producer of plastic waste per head of population in Europe, according to Eurostat 2018. Uh, I want to talk to you about Pampers SWOT analysis in the context of this statistic. Pampers strengths, they are a market leader. They can create economies of scale unlike any other provider in the, in the sector. Their weaknesses, their development in this area is, is not at speed and at the pace that it needs to be. Their threats, somebody else will do it. Their opportunities to dominate this sector. Starting with customer segment in lean business model canvas, infants, toddlers, preschoolers are the end users of Pampers, but since they don't buy Pampers directly, Pampers target expecting new and working mothers, fathers, and childcare providers with babies of age, zero to three years as their market. They focus on the emerging middle class parents with the disposable income and the parents in the high income group. When we interviewed few parents, the main problems we came across with the diapers are leak, diaper rash, and hazardous waste, as they are not fully recyclable. Pampers' solution to these problems are the design with elastic bands at the bottom and super absorbent gel layer inside the diapers, which helps to prevent leakage and diaper rash, keeping the babies dry. For the non-biodegradable waste management, Pampers still needs to work hard. Although they are working towards reducing material used in manufacturing in order to save resources, Pampers have been committed to providing safe, high-performing baby products. So for the unique value proposition, Pampers just use one liner, saying Pampers is dedicated to every baby's happy, healthy development. Since Pampers have been serving the market for 58 years now, it has gained a good reputation and trust in the minds of the customers. So the unfair advantages that Pampers enjoy over their competitors are, they are the market leaders with highest market share, and aggressive advertising and strong distribution network of their parent company, Procter & Gamble. Thank you. Being people-focused, Pampers Communications Channel is via word-of-mouth marketing through the medical arena with a strong social media presence using Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and their own website along with online vlogging community networks. Pampers advertising expenditure is 35% greater than their main competitor, Huggies, using television radio commercial adverts uh, along with print adverts and periodicals and parenting magazines also billboards uh, direct mail marketing campaigns using discounts promotions coupons and trial offers pampers is a fast-moving consumer organization goods uh, utilizing distribution channels such as railroad C networks making their age specific product readily available through to traditional grocery stores supermarkets and wholesale distributors global online sales are up 30 percent accounting for seven percent of the business through e-commerce platforms such as boots.ie tesco online Amazon.com, Baby Registry and Parent Subscription uh, Services making bulk purchasing more convenient and accessible. 
Um, cost to the consumer is on average between 800 and 1,000 euro. Uh, this is based on unit costs of uh, 13 to 25 cents per nappy and utilizing between 2,000 and 3,000 nappies per year. This accounts for nearly 3.4% of minimum wage income. Hi there. So uh, in 2018, net sales were coming in at 66.8 billion US dollar. When looking at P&G's reports for the past few years, the key metrics indicate a downward trajectory particularly for baby care, which makes up 13% of the annual sales and has dropped from two, sorry, 20,950 billion in 2014 to 18,080 in 2018. And to offset this, Pampers prices are going up on average 4%. That said, P&G still managed to clamber the way back up the last quarter, where they achieved a balanced mix of higher prices and rising sales volumes, thanks to, as Minya mentioned, a strong marketing campaign. All this despite its advertising expenses being around 11% of its annual sales, making P&G the world's largest spender on advertising. But there's method to the madness because P&G wants you to know something, that they are superior in all respects and that's where your money is going. They invest about 2 billion annually in research and development, significantly more than their competitors, which helps them launch improved and innovative products to maintain, as well as expand its market share, which currently grows at 18.24% globally. Supporting this campaign, P&G also aim at making all product packaging for their 20 leadership brands completely recyclable or reusable by 2030, cutting greenhouse gas emissions from their manufacturing sites in half and continuing to help stem the flow of plastics into oceans. Innovation, it would, it would appear, particularly in the premium categories, is the key to P&G's profitability as proven by their already high level of concentration in developed markets like the US, Western Europe and Japan. Pampers have dominated innovations in the nappy industry since the 1960s, but the growing concern with climate change exposes a weakness in their current business model. Through IDIs, we've identified that one of the top three concerns of parents is the waste created by nappies and the effect this is having on the environment. An estimated 600,000 nappies are disposed of daily in Ireland. We would propose Pampers get ahead of this movement by creating a biodegradable nappy. Using the latest developments in nanotechnology and a material called Hydromash, produced from jellyfish, Pampers could create a nappy which would biodegrade in less than 30 days. Their startup companies, in conjunction with Trinity College Dublin, applying this technology to sanitary products. But with Pampers' commitment to innovative R&D, credibility in the industry, and their market dominance, they would once again revolution childcare. This would enrich their social responsibility and what they're, as what they're achieving at the moment just isn't enough. Profit share has been declining from 2014. To maintain market share, competitive advantage, ensure continual growth and critically target a new customer segment, Pampers need to address this external threat. So another innovation is to scale back on the amount of plastics generated, reducing packaging costs, improving CSR metrics, and ultimately protecting the environment by creating a patented sensor tracking Pampers container, container based on a return, reuse, refill system. Here we are in collaboration with retailers and consumers needs. The responsibility then shifts from the consumer back to the company, enhancing environmental awareness and a reduced waste performance metric. In conclusion, Pampers is a long-established and trusted brand which has a significant market share thanks to a strong marketing strategy, established distribution channels, clear USP and its continual investment in improving its core product. With its commitment to innovation and social responsibility, Pampers are responding to their customers' concerns about plastic waste and to reducing their environmental footprint. We propose two potential solutions that would help Pampers maintain their market share and offset growing threats to their business. Pampers should consider developing a biodegradable nappy using the latest nanotechnology and cut back on plastic they use for packaging by implementing a cyclical packaging system. By adopting new innovative technology and enhancing their commitment to environmental sustainability, Pampers can continue the tradition of innovative research and development pioneered by Victor Mills that have sustained their growth to date. Thank you for your attention.